Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee. I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a quick one. I'm sharing my recipe for hot water cornbread. If you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. All right, so jumping right into the recipe, you're gonna need two cups of yellow cornmeal. You can definitely use white if you so choose, but to me, the yellow looks more appetizing, so that's why I use it. You're also gonna need two tablespoons of sugar. If you like it sweet, you can definitely add more, but I don't really like my hot water cornbread sweet, so two tablespoons is definitely enough. Next, you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt, and that is it. You're gonna wanna go ahead and give your mix a good stir. All right, so you should have two and a half cups of water boiling. Once you've mixed your dry ingredients together, you wanna go ahead and add some of your water. You wanna add it in small increments. Now, if this is not your first time and you're used to making hot water cornbread and you know exactly how much water you use, go ahead and add it and stir it all up. I just recommend doing it this way for beginners. The cornmeal actually cooks as you add the hot water. So you wanna be sure to completely um, coat all the cornmeal with the hot water as you add the water and stir the cornmeal um, it will start to get thicker and you'll see that it starts to stick together somewhat what you're looking for is a consistency between play-doh and wet sand you don't want it too thick, but you also don't want it to be like wet sand. If it is the texture of wet sand, you've probably added too much water and may want to add a little more cornmeal. Also, you're going to fry your hot water cornbread in oil, so you can be preheating your oil while you're mixing your cornbread together. So this is the texture you're looking for. I won't be adding any more water. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've co completely coated all the dry spots. And now the most important part is taste it to make sure it is to your liking. It was so good to me, I had to double back and taste it again. All right, so once it is to your liking, you wanna go ahead and start making you some patties or you can pat them out in the shape of however you like yours. Um, some people do them round, some do them oblong. Some people even just take the spoon directly to the oil and drop the cornmeal into the pan. And if that's how you like to do it, you can definitely do that as well. I personally just pat mine out into medium sized patties. So the cornmeal is still piping hot because of the boiling water. You may wanna have a bowl of cold water um, on hand to dip your hands into. Um, so that your hands can tolerate the heat coming from that cornmeal. Okay, so now I'm gonna add about one and a half to two cups of vegetable oil to my 10 inch cast iron skillet. I'm heating the oil over a medium heat and I'm just gonna drop a little of the cornmeal into the grease to determine if it's ready for me to put my patties in or not. 
when you add your cornbread to the skillet you want the cornbread to start frying immediately you don't want it to just sit in cold grease so this is what it should look like when you add your cornbread also you want to be sure to put the patties in away from your body so that the oil is not splashing on you so to me this is one of the most important parts um, you have to determine whether you want yours to be kind of soft or crunchy I like mine somewhere in between the two so I like the outside to be a little crunchy but I like the inside to be really soft so I'm only gonna fry my patties for about three to three and a half minutes per side this recipe is so simple just about anybody can do it um and it is so so good after about three and a half minutes you want to go ahead and flip your cornbread unless you like yours crunchy you're going to leave them on that first side a little longer So, um, although I'm using cast iron, you do not have to use cast iron. You can definitely use any type of frying pan that you may have or your favorite frying pan. Um, any pan's going to get the job done. I just love to use cast iron when I fry anything. I just think um, it is the best for frying. So when you remove your cornbread from the pan, you want to be sure to place them on a sheet of paper towel. You want to allow that um, oil to absorb into the paper. immediately after removing your cornbread from the grease you want to add butter to both sides of the cornbread it's very important to do it while it is still piping hot so that is my recipe for hot water cornbread that's how i do it um i hope you all will give it a try Drop down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Let me know if you eat hot water cornbread, um, if you use white or yellow cornmeal when you make it, what kind of food do you eat it with? To me, it's best with like collard greens or beans or stews. But yeah, just drop down there and let me know what you all think about hot water cornbread. I just really want to hear what you all think. And look at that, it looks so good. It's crunchy on the outside and so soft on the inside. Mm -mm -mm. It is delicious. But um, again, that's my recipe. I'll have the measurements and ingredients listed in the description box if you're interested in making this. Um, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.